Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in discrete mathematics that is Euler's path, Euler's circuit and Euler's graph. So in our previous session, we have seen the similar concept which is a Hamiltonian path, Hamiltonian circuit or cycle and Hamiltonian graph. So there is a slight difference between the Hamiltonian graphs or the Euler's graph. So in the Hamiltonian's graph, we are supposed to visit all the vertices exactly once. So here, instead of visiting the vertices, we are going to visit the edges exactly once. So that is called as a Euler's graph. So let's start the session. Euler's graph. So similar to our Hamiltonian graph, before going to see this Euler's graph, we have to learn the two things. One is Euler's path and Euler's circuit. So first let us see the Euler's path. Euler's path. So we, we have discussed about this path and uh, circuit. So if it is a path, the starting vertex and the ending vertex should be different. If it is a cycle or a circuit, the starting vertex and the ending vertex should be same. That is the main difference between the Euler's, I mean path and circuit. So we know the first one, source, source vertex and destination. That means beginning vertex and the ending vertex must be different. The first one. So if we are finding the Euler's path, both the things should be different. And the second one, visit all the edges instead of vertices, all the edges exactly one time exactly one time so we have to visit all the vertices exactly one time and in this way while visiting all the edges exactly time so we may visit the vertex multiple times so can visit vertex multiple times. This is the most important. So, these two points are important. First one, all the edges should be visited exactly once and the vertex can be visited multiple times. No problem. But the start vertex and the stop vertex, that means source vertex and the destination. That doesn't mean that, right? So, here my intention is source vertex is where we are starting. And the destination vertex, vertex means where we are stopping them, right? So the source vertex and the destination vertex should be different. If both are same, it becomes a Euler's circuit or a Euler's cycle. So it's a path, so that must be different. Edges must be visited exactly once and vertices can be visited multiple times. And one more thing, you can find the Euler path. So before, uh, I mean, before... Uh, traveling from one edge towards the other edge. So just by observing the degree of each and every vertex, we can we can able to know that whether the graph is having a Euler path or not. So based upon the degree, right? So at most, two vertices should be having odd degree. So we know that degree means the number of uh, edges associated to that particular vertex, right? So for, for given example, we have to check whether there are at most two vertices which are having the odd degree. So at most vertices means, at most two vertices means zero vertices, one vertex 
two vertex two vertices that means maximum of two minimum of zero if our graph is having a maximum of two vertices having odd degree or a minimum of zero vertices having odd degree so we can able to know that that graph can have the euler's path so let us take an example let us take an example a yes so let us uh, take this example okay yeah so as right, so you you can also use this one so degree of a you can apply the degree of a what is the degree of a it is 3 degree of b again it is 3 degree of c again it is 3 Degree of D again, it is three. You can see all all the vertices are having the same degree, right? So that implies. So you can observe this particular point. At most two vertices should be having the odd degree. So all are odd degree. How many vertices are having odd degree? Four vertices are having the odd degree. So it is not possible to get the Euler's path. So once again, I am repeating Euler's path means. visiting the edges exactly once so you can start from here and you can check uh, you can start from a so a to b this edge completed b to c this edge completed c to uh, a this edge completed a to d this edge completed c next d to b this edge completed and this was not completed so you can't visit one more time this b to c or b to d because so visit uh, sorry visit all the edges exactly once we should not visit the edges multiple times but we can visit the vertices multiple times okay so that doesn't happen so if so by observing the degree for each and every vertex of the graph you can able to know that whether there can be euler's path or not so i'll just rechange this one let us see this one okay now now for this given example let us first find out i have modified this graph i have taken this uh, edge from a to d so a is having edge is true degree 2 d is having degree 3 C is having again degree three, and D is having a degree two. Now you can observe two vertices are having with a odd degree. So this satisfies. This satisfies. So it can have at most two vertices, and that means a maximum of two vertices. Here we are having two vertices. Now we will be able to find out the Euler's path. So you can start with a B, B to A, A to C. C to D, D to B, B to C. You can observe B to A. This is one. A to C. This is two. C to D. This is three. D to B. This is four. B to C. This is five. And now you can observe this is a Euler's path because you can see source vertex and destination vertex must destination vertex must be different. Source vertex is B and destination vertex is C. both are different and visit all the edges exactly once how many edges are there 1 2 3 4 and 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have given numbering for easy understanding so no none of the word, none of the edge has been repeated twice right so the second uh, condition also satisfied can visit vertex multiple times you can observe b has been visited multiple times c has been visited multiple times there is no issue about that So at most two vertices should have the odd degree. So first of all, first itself we are we have uh, uh, find out the degree, and we said that we 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 found that two at most two vertices that means a maximum of two vertices are having the odd degree. So we got the Euler's path for this particular graph. Now let us move on with the Euler's circuit.
Euler's circuit. Okay, hope you understood about the Euler's graph, right? Hope you understood about the Euler's sorry Euler's path. Now we will move on with the Euler's circuit. So if it is a circuit, so these two vertices must be same. These two vertices must be same. Then what about the second one? Again, visit all the edges exactly one time. Can visit a vertex multiple times, any vertex multiple times, and here. All the vertices should be having even degree. If all the vertices are having the even degree, then we can form the Euler's circuit. Okay, let us take an example here. Let us take this example. Okay, so first find out the degree. Degree of A is 2, degree of B is 2, degree of C is 4, degree of D is 2, degree of E again it's 2. You can observe the degree of all the vertices will be even. So, 2 even, 2 even, 4 even, 2 even, 2 even. So, the degree for all these vertices are even. Okay. Now, we can find the Euler's circuit. So, previous example you can take A. So, this is the example we have taken and we have found that Euler's path. Okay. Now, you can observe degree of B and degree of C is having 3. That means 3 edges are associated for B and C. So, obviously, we can say that we can't find the Euler circuit in this particular graph. So, visiting all the edges exactly once and come back to the source vertex. So, let us check with this one. Right? Check with this one. So, let us start with the B. B to A. And uh, yes, A to C, C to D, D to E, E to C, C to B, right? So all the vertices are, have been visited multiple times, but all the edges are visited exactly once. How many edges are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. So, we have given numbering so that uh, the duplications are not allowed, right? So, if we, we have not visited the edge multiple times, that gives that, right? So, here you can observe, this is a simple example where we can uh, get the complete Euler's path. So, your, sorry, Euler's circuit or Euler's cycle. Euler's circuit or Euler's cycle. Okay, so simply only one condition we can check that if the vertex, the degree for all the vertices are even, simply we can say we we can able to find Euler's graph. I mean Euler's circuit for this one. Okay, and we can also find out the Euler's path because what's the condition for Euler's path? So all the vertices should can be visited multiple times but all the edges should be visited exactly once and at most two vertices should be of even odd degree so here at most there are no odd degree vertices that means that that particular condition also satisfies because at most two vertices means zero vertices may also be having the odd degree right so we can also have the Euler's path okay so you can start with the C, C to A, A to B, B to C, C to 
e e to d d to c but uh, it was not possible here because the starting index the index and the uh, beginning index should not be same right so let us start with the c so this is the euler's circuit so now we are able to find we are trying to find the euler's path for this one right so let us start with the b b to a a to c c to d d to e e to c c to b check out how many what is it 6 b to a so i'll write e1 a to c e2 c to d sorry the same thing we have written right yes 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 so we can start with the c c to b b to a a to c and uh, c to e e to d and d to c again we are getting the euler's circuit right so this is a simply the trial and error method so we have to try with all the possibilities so that we can get the euler's path also right so if similar to our hamiltonian graphs so euler's graph which we call means if the graph contains the euler's circuit or euler's cycle then that graph is called as euler's graph okay so in which graph we are able to find this euler circuit that graph we can call them as a euler's graph so this is an example for a euler's graph and this is not an example for euler's graph because here we will be not getting the euler circuit because the degree of uh, all the vertices are not even okay and one thing just remember we so every graph will be only, ha, can have only one euler circuit is not possible right so uh, the graph can contain multiple euler circuits or multiple euler cycles okay there can be multiple so here i have taken b as a starting vertex so i got one euler circuit you may start with the a you will be getting a one more euler circuit similarly you, get, you can also able to find the euler path multiple euler paths from the given graph right but if a graph is having a euler's circuit or euler cycle then we call it as a euler's graph just remember that one okay so in this session we have seen what is a euler's path euler circuit and euler's graph right so i'll stop here so just practice with a uh, multiple uh, graphs so that you will be getting a confidence and you will be getting uh, perfection on finding the euler's graph and euler's path because so this is quite completely trial and error method so we have to consider one graph one vertex as a source vertex and we have to start traveling uh, visiting all the edges exactly once also in that walk through so we can visit all the vertices multiple times also but we should not visit the edge multiple times that that's the one thing you have to remember right so so just practice with the multiple graphs finding of euler's euler's path euler's circuit similarly also uh, try to find out the hamiltonian paths and hamiltonian circuits in the same graph so that you will be get a confident on solving any kind of problems right so i'll stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section <laughs> definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much